Chairman Holland, members of the board, Dr. Casey, it's an honor to be here this evening on National Centenarian Day to recognize 12 remarkable individuals in our community who have reached an important milestone of turning 100 years or older. These extraordinary centenarians share words of wisdom on the secret to their longevity and advice to the younger generation. The 12 centenarians that we will celebrate this evening project an attitude of hope, care, and compassion for others. Our centenarians are viewed as pillars within their community who live life with purpose and stress the importance of resilience, the strength to overcome life's challenges, relationships, creating and sustaining meaningful connections, recreation, the importance of exercise, leisure, and hobbies, responsibility, the importance of giving back of your time and talent to help others in need, respect of oneself and others, treat others as you'd want to be treated, it's a privilege to celebrate and extend warm birthday greetings to our 12 outstanding centenarians this evening. We have prepared a slideshow to pay tribute to our centenarians, many of those who are joining us virtually with their friends and family to celebrate. So first, happy birthday to Marie Haskins Yates Austin. Marie is a lifetime resident of Chesterfield County. She worked in the county school system as a bus driver for 25 years. Marie is a fantastic cook known for her delicious hot rolls, mouth-watering pies, and cakes. Her secret to longevity is to treat people the way you want to be treated and keep your hands in God's hands. Her advice, follow God and his instructions, do not try to follow a crowd. When you follow a crowd, you follow the world, which leads to trouble. <laughs> Happy birthday to Lee Randolph Beal. Mr. Beal is retired from Richmond Engineering Company as a foreman after 38 years and then worked for Johnston Willis Hospital until the age of 80. He helped his father on the family farm, plowing the fields with a mule. Fond childhood memories spent at church and listening to a four-piece string band in his small community. He enjoys golf and swimming along with the watching videos and keeping up with family on Facebook. His secret to longevity is always eat a hearty breakfast and eat ice cream the rest of your life. <laughs> Happy birthday to Andy Roberts, a World War II veteran, served in the US Navy as a third class petty officer, learned aviation, ordnance, and gunnery. He used the GI Bill to learn to fly light aircraft. Flying has been his hobby and passion, and he's still flying solo well into his 80s. He also loves maps. He loves to spend time outdoors and with his family. His advice, Get all the education you can and study hard. And his secret to longevity, good genes, exercise daily, fresh food and vegetables from your garden. Happy birthday to Laura Scott. She is one of 13 siblings. Her father worked at the Valdusta County Country Club and the family lived on the club property during those years. Her father cut the grass with a mule drawn mower. Worked as an electronics assembler in Pennsylvania also worked for the Campbell Soup Company for 25 years, pulling cooked chicken meat off the bone. Her favorite activity is going to church, followed by watching football, basketball, and golf. Her secret to longevity, love everybody and put God first. Miss Evelyn Watkins Jimson. She received her master's of science in embryology from Howard University in 1946. She joined the biology department at Virginia State University, where she taught for over six decades. She's named the 1977 State of Virginia recipient of the Laureate Award for Excellence in Pure Science. She's an active member in the Delta Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority in the Zion Baptist Church. Her secret to longevity, life is not always going to be easy, so you should always have faith in God and your ability to accomplish and withstand the problems of your life. Always respect yourself, never stop learning, and vote in every election. Make sure your voice is heard. Miss Mabel Wheel, she's the youngest of nine siblings, mother of twins and has 11 grandchildren. She worked as a nurse's aide and private duty nurse for many years before her retirement. She's a loyal friend, strong woman of faith and devoted to her family. Her secret, trusting in God and don't worry about what you have no control over and pray daily. Her advice, get your education, listen, obey your parents and have strong faith. And we also have alumni. These are people that we recognized last year, and they were, have another birthday, and so we also want to honor them. We have Marjorie Caldwell, who's 102, 
Ms. Dolores Bisbee, 103. Ms. Rose Strickler Good, 101. And also we have Mr. Delby Huff, it's 101. Ms. Carrie Evelyn Samuel, 105. Ms. Shir Shirley Wingrand, 102. And we also have Marjorie Caldwell, who's 102 as well. Their advice is work hard, be positive and optimistic, and always stay active. So congratulations and happy birthday to all of our centenarians in Chesterfield County. Thank you for sharing your secrets of longevity and how to navigate life's triumph and challenges with grace, dignity, and perseverance. May you continue to enjoy life to the fullest. Thank you to everyone who shared life history and photos to honor Chesterfield County residents of 100 years and older for their wealth of experience, wisdom, and longevity. I also want to extend a special thank you to our community partners. Jackie Weisberger with the Social Security Administration mails out letters each year to let our centenarians know of this program. And also our former ADS manager, Debbie Preston. For the past three years, Debbie served as the manager of ADS with passion and dedication. We are thankful for her service and wish her all the best in her new director role in Hanover County. In addition to this evening's presentation, on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, each of the centenarians recognized this evening will receive a certificate of recognition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, let's give them a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's a, that's a life lesson right in there. So thank you for these wonderful Chesterfield citizens. Uh, so we appreciate you sharing with us.